Here, take this knife before I use it on you. Excuse me. Yes? Well, looks good today. Today we have a special squabble stick, only 20 dinars. You accept U.S. currency? Sorry, no. Well, the squab would sure hit the spot. 20 dinars, I think. But I don't have 20 dinars. Then you don't get squab. Excuse me, what can I do for your baby? Are you Mr. Omar Al-Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the lost kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? I've got a PhD, will that do? <laughs> you have quite a sense of humor, I see. Funny, looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nuram Sal. Excuse me again. Yes? How much for the mask? You can take the worthless thing. It's getting away my best customers. It all looks pretty worthless. Here we are. What makes you think we'll find Trottier here? All his letters mention how much he likes strolling under the bright lights. I had no idea Monte Carlo was the lost city. Don't start with me, Indy. It's Trottier we're after. But what does Trottier look like? How should I know? I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. Suppose Trottier shows up. What then? Bring him up to my room. This plan sounds kind of harebrained to me. Don't worry, it'll work. He used to have one of the three stones. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. Seance? I'll go get ready. Excuse me. Are you Alan Trottier? No, I'm not. Tell me what Monsieur Trottier looks like. Whoop. Excuse me. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? No, désolé. But he always works the flyer in his lapel.
Hey there. Are you Alan Frontier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, 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 I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Well, that's me. And I am Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. My horoscope told me to find a new path through life tonight. And here I bump into you. Ah, what good fortune. Madam Sophie is in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I get restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear being fooled by fakers. To be sure, you are a true believer. Answer me this. What was a Plato's great error? An error of translation. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. How can I help you? Follow me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I am not sure. Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. Well, I need money. Perhaps Madame can tell me which phase of the moon is best for company. So, I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Keep him busy. I'm going to try something. All right, then. Give me a minute while I set him up. Ah, oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then, I need a token of power to set the mood. Well, I have this stone key. I truly believe it is from the lost city. Very good. Very good indeed. Now we can begin. Of Murad Sal approaching us. Ooh. Well done, Indy. Looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Clautier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. It's a stone disc with solar images carved into it. Now is not the time. I better put the flashlight back. I better put the sheet back. 